It started as a filling station and beer joint back in 1933 and grew into one of Austin's most beloved restaurants and music venues. But now Threadgill's, part of what helped make Austin weird, is gone for good. The owner posted on Facebook today that even when restaurants can open back up, it won't. Last December, the Riverside location closed, and now the original is also shut down. Hank Cabanero spoke with a music journalist who tells us the story of the old number one location. It, it is a true institution. Thread Gills, the original restaurant, Thread Gills Old Number One on North Lamar, is shutting down forever, and this is heartbreaking news for all of us. Just absolutely heartbreaking. A place that has stood the test of time, a place that knew no stranger, will finally have to say goodbye. Yeah, this is a really deeply sad day for Austin history. Rush Evans is a music journalist, and if you care to listen, he could tell you all about the place he loved to visit. Hey, look what I brought. Look what I just dug out. There's Kenneth Frankel. That's an album of his. The Wednesday tradition, a huge part of the Threadgill story, the legacy. The historic number of people who came through there in the 1960s, a college kid named Janis Joplin started hanging out there. Was They had these Wednesday night hootenannies that Kenneth had started, and she sang there. And even after she was super famous, she was in town, she came to see Kenneth Threadgill for years. I was there a ton of Wednesdays in the 90s, lifelong friends from those Wednesdays in the 90s. And now, I have some dear friends with a residency on Wednesdays in the 2020s, or not anymore. It's the greatest kind of loss I can feel that's not human. You know, it's, uh, it, it feels kind of human. Uh, again, the number of friends I've made there that I'm still in touch with, who live far away. Uh, it's, it's a very, very devastating piece of news. So while the marquee will keep saying closed and the open neon won't light up the street, Threadgill's old number one has still stood the test of time. Uh, there's too much history to be lost here. Hank Kevin Arrow? There's just too much history to, to ever be forgotten. KVU News.